Okay, hi, this is Terry Lee, and when we left off, this is video two in our Gray Daisy series. Um, let's see, what is Kyung's shop name? Is uh, Wonders by Wink, and I'll put that on the screen for you, and there'll be a link below in the text file. Um, it's an awesome kit. It's uh, We looked at it a little bit in the uh, first video, and I'm still messing around with the idea I'm going to put this on the front for sure and then um, we'll need to do something with the rest of the front maybe we'll just uh, decorate the whole thing once we figure out what paper we want to put on the front um, I'm kind of leaning towards let's see here you know if I put my scissors away they wouldn't be in the way now would they let's see kind of leaning towards this this one that's my reminder going off I'm going in uh, in an hour to get my COVID my second COVID shot okay so if we put this on here of course it's going to edges are going to be trimmed and everything but if we put this on here and then put this on there see then we would have the daisies going up I really like that um, it may be intended to have been a horizontal page but um, I really like the idea of it going up like that so um, I think all right so if this is a B okay so this is going to be B1 like the bomber so this is going to be B1 that's going to make this B2, then B3, and then B4. Not after, before. Ah, first bad joke. Okay, now, so let's say we've got that. So let's call this B1 before we even trim it. And then um, on the inside here, I was thinking of using this. Um, uh, eight by ten or no it's not an eight by ten eight by five and a half f that didn't work out in the flip book that I made um, if you want to see the flip book that I made it's uh, just use the hashtag um, two digit one digital kit two ways and you'll find it on YouTube and I did six videos in my part and then um, Lisa did I don't know like 15 <laughs> in her so there's plenty of stuff uh, she did a mini journal that's why it took more and uh, mine was a flip book so um, but I'm thinking I'm thinking this would look kind of good here and I'm trying to decide whether to leave that there to give it a little bit easier grab um, or to cut them off the same length because I'm going to use I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use a magnet to hold this shut so um, let's make a little circle and we'll call it magnet I almost wrote call and then we will put a little circle here and call it magnet that way we don't forget and put the papers down now since we're going to do that before we paper we can also before we paper on this side here we can also use a couple of let me see where they are Ooh, new jewelry making kit with wires I see little paper dangles in my future uh, Brad's that's what I was thinking about um, we could use some of these brads just for decoration in these two corners we'd have to cover this paper first um, and then uh, put the brads in then open this up and put the magnet in and then open the brads out put the magnet here let it figure out where it wants to go um, and then we could uh, 
paper both insides. So I think I like that idea. Um, I'm not sure. I think I am going to cut these off even. I set these up here so I don't forget my great idea. And um, so now you can see how the uh, prototypes come together. Um, I've been trying to do it like this on film, even though it's kind of wanders around a bit um, because then I don't have to make duplicates of everything. <laughs> oh, and on the um, pocketed one that goes on the front. All right, the lawn care guys. Where the folder is here on the inside, it was um, this edge was catching when I tried to fold it in. So I took this much off just just this much it's only um, probably yeah it's a sixteenth so you'll have to excuse that loud noise they're right outside my window which it won't take them that long um, I but I have decided to uh, cut these off even the reason they're not even anymore is once you make the gusset um, then it will pull, you know, one side up or one side down. Now, um, I think we're going to make a gusset in this bigger folder um, so that it can hold this, you know, with plenty of room. And so I'll show you how to make a gusset in a minute. But for right now, we're actually going to cut them off unevenly to make it look even. So you're just going to put your guide along the shorter edge and then when you trim it off then it's going to be even even with the uh, gusset on it yes this piece is too small oh getting enough uh, dust bunnies and whatever it's almost time I can get my little butterfly out my butterfly my ladybug have you seen my ladybug My ladybug. <laughs> You're going to love this. This is my little ladybug vacuum cleaner. And you uh, use it to vacuum off all the dust bunnies and stuff from cutting paper. You know how you always have those little powder. I even use it to vacuum my um, my cutter. Get it down in the, in the groove in there. And get all the uh, dust bunnies out. You can hear it. And then over here off screen, there's a whole bunch of stuff from when I was cutting. And then you just turn it off. Or, or if you want to be entertained, you can just leave it on. And it'll move around like by itself. But I don't think it's safety rated for that. So I figured while they were making noise, I would get sidetracked and make some noise as well. And um, so let's go back to what I was thinking here. So now this is even. This is ready to go to be covered and glued and taped and whatever. Now I'm wondering if because there's the white tape here, if maybe we shouldn't put white tape around everything as the border. Um, the manila folder does show through, but the white I think I do not like I do not like this Sam I am <laughs> okay there we go all right so um, but I think this white border it isn't quite white enough but it isn't beige either so the worst thing that could happen is that we edge this out in the tape, which would be around the edges, around all the edges, and it would just be on this front part and not and not on our big folder yet. 
only if we decide we want to do it and also our little uh, book booklet on the inside um, I'm thinking that we may uh, when we glue this on we may want to glue it farther down and then make a pocket out of it okay and so that will pretty much take up that whole page now we're going to definitely need to make a gusset in this um, let's keep our cover handy handy dandy okay so then this is going to be C and then this is going to be glue three sides let's see glue two sides and bottom make pocket see when I'm doing a prototype like this um, you'll notice since I'm not writing anything down um, then I have to remember what what my idea was once I get so far so um, yeah if we put this here and we just glue it on three sides then we could definitely have a pocket here now if I well we're gonna have a gusset in here so let me show you how to do that even though we've cut the tabs off all right then um, you can still see in here where the the Mac manufacturer excuse me has pre-scored three lines so what we're going to do is we're going to help ourselves out and we're going to rescore one of the lines and we're going to do the very first one over from what I call the factory fold. So we're gonna put our factory fold. <laughs> the dogs upstairs are chasing each other around. It's pretty funny. All you hear is <laughs> okay. All right. So we're three eighths inch gusset be careful when you get to the end I know they say this all the time but use the rocker end and not the pointy end of your um, scoreboard um, bone folder even though this isn't bone this is a folder um, anyway so this will make it easier to fold on that line can see what I'm doing I'm just putting my two fingers here and then I'm bending it over and that's where we're gonna want it to fold And then now it looks like it's off here once we put our gusset back up then just like with this one this might as well be like that then we're going to need to um, trim the bottom of this one to make it even how do you guys like me winging it so far <laughs> leave something in the comments below let me know if you like this too along with my uh, completely written down tutorials which um, the ones that I write down and I make the PDFs for um, I actually do that for myself you know what I mean I mean I make the notes for myself um, and my own use uh, when I am um, making the tutorials then I can remember step by step what I wanted to do okay so we just cut this much off on one side and just this little sliver off on the other side and now they're even okay so now 
Oh, here it is. So now this is what we have so far. We have this on the cover and it folds out or this like that. I'm glad that's on video because I'm not sure I could recreate that. That's going to be glued to this. And this is going to have that little bit of a gusset where it looks like a book spine. Okay. And then inside of there, you know, since this is already kind of heavy, maybe we should put this over here to help balance it out. I'm looking at the two gussets. Yeah, we may have to nix our top pocket. You see how the way that looks? That looks pretty good. Um, we might could add a side loading pocket to this side here. Especially if we brought it over, then we could have something that sticks out with a tab from the side. Okay. glue one side uh oh okay, so this side is going to be no no glue and draw a little arrow and then the rest of these are glue I'm just writing down G's. Okay, so then this is going to go up against here. Not exactly, but maybe an eighth of an inch in. And so we'll make a mark there. I should have made a mark on the other side since we weren't exactly. Now you'll notice I'm not really making measurements. I'm kind of eyeballing where I want things to be. It looks like I drew mostly on that. Okay, so, you know, the easiest way That's definitely crooked. Is our edge crooked? I just put this uh, dark brown uh, contact paper on here. It looks like this dark wood. I totally didn't realize I was going to keep losing my ruler in it all the time. Okay. Let's... This is exactly three and a half and this is okay let's get my brain going here four and a half that just doesn't seem right does it let's Mm-hmm. Isn't that odd? It looks even. Sorry about that. It looks even when you have the gusset up, but Technically, one side measures shorter across than the other. Hmm. Should be using this eraser. Oh, look at this little brayer that I got. Got it from AliExpress. Works great for 
putting glue and squishing it down into seams, smaller areas. All right, let's try this again. I could just, you know, measure it, you know, like an eighth in. Aha, uh -huh. that's why it's crooked, because I'm pushing on that. There we go. Now we're in business. Okay, this is going to be notepad. Notepad here. Okay, so now if we do that there, we can't really have a pocket here, can we? The only way we can have a pocket on this side use our you know some of our scraps up is to have such a narrow pocket well this is going to have a magnet holding it shut so what can we do here I'm trying to think of you know points of interest or something I wonder if I could make this long skinny pocket. I guess I don't need to look at this either for right now. Now we have parts A and part C setting together. Still not out of the way. Okay. I still would like to do something down here. I'm wondering how hard it would be to make a small waterfall and have the little cards lay across like that overlapped. Let me put, let's put that there. Um, sideways. Great, now they're done taking a shower and they have their TV on. <laughs> so, you know, because we could use this as a guide, um, even though it's too long, we could just have it open. We could just use this scrap and have it open Oh, 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 you know what we could do? We could um, use this little pocket as something to put your pen in. You'd have to have one of those small, small little like golf pencils. No, that's not going to work. Okay, so now what are we going to put on the other side? So now the front, so we have A, this is going to be the back, one, two, and we didn't, yeah, one, two, is that how I had it? No, we hit it this way. Okay, so we've got that. We've got the other one on the inside. Then we could make some pockets on the other side that come down. Um, there's a couple different things we could do. So what I'm going to do is 
I am going to, um, I know this seems early, but if we cut pages for here, you know, for this page, and we could decide once we see how thick it is and what it looks like, what we want on this side. So, all right, let me think about that and then we'll come back uh, with the next part of this video. Hi, this is Terry Lee and this is either the second part of, oh no, this isn't part two, this is uh, part three. Sorry about the confusion there. When we left off, we were trying to decide what to um, do as far as the inside of the folio. Uh, remember, we have the outside front and it's going to go like, well, it'll go like this. So you can open it this way or you can open it this way. And then you have, oops, I'm sorry. And then you have the manila folder with the pockets. And then you have the cover, which will be showing on the cover of the uh, book itself. And then one and two. And I'm sorry, I kind of messed up showing that. Now, I have glue on this, but um, I may decide to make it removable. But we'll, we'll see how that works. However, on the inside, we had a notebook a flip up notebook with magnets and whatnot. And you'll notice I went ahead and uh, taped it. Now, when I taped it, I went ahead and used the brown to see what it looked like against the, um, oops, somehow I got one a little bit shorter. It's gonna go on the inside though, behind the paper. Um, so what this is, is a notebook and I taped it all the way around, even the back because I'm pretty sure we're going to make it removable. Now, to do that, we're either going to um, make two eyelets here and then, um, and then run an elastic, which would show on the back side. It would have to tie on the inside. Or we're going to make um, a large belly band to hold it in. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, now, we are going to use a uh, decorative um uh-huh you know what these are called brads decorative brads well they're not just decorative as far as just the um let's see if i can get this open they're not decorative as far as uh they don't have the little tines you know they're not just uh metal the metal head so we're going to get to use our pokey tool yay and we're going to put four on the corners on the front side. Um, I'm trying to decide whether we should do them on the back side too so that they match um, since the notebook is going to be removable. But um, I'm gonna, I've got enough time to think about that. Now, so I went ahead and did the tan, which is what I was saying, and um, for the uh, ink color around the paper, I went with uh, faded jeans, believe it or not. And um, I think it looks nice. Let me hold it up for you there. So you can see it's not black, but it's, um, it's a dark blue. And that goes with this uh, bluish gray. It isn't a, um, I don't know what you would call it, like a true gray. Um, I, I would think this would be called a light blue gray. Um, even because this page is obviously a green gray. And so here's the same picture with this page. And this is obviously a blue gray page. All right. So now I went ahead and cut the papers so that we could do the, uh, this is where we're gonna need brads and magnets. And so I thought this would be a good time to show you how to do those. Um, the magnets I got 
um, are 10 millimeter by one millimeter. And the important part is the thickness, which is the one millimeter. Uh, anything thicker than that, I think would leave too big of a bump. And I got the sides to order um, from uh, Mr. F, who is uh, Miss Paintalot's better half. And um, so he does a lot of the cutting and stuff for her. He does a lot of the ordering and he goes around to the thrift stores and I forgot what she said they were called in England but anyway and um, so he finds a lot of kits and stuff now these are wrapped in quite a bit of styrofoam and they're kind of a bear to get apart let's see if I can get them to fall down nope they're staying in the bottom in the back okay so when we get when you get them they're wrapped up like this and I am going to take two, she says confidently. Okay, there's one. Let me get the second one. They're very thin and they're very strong. And so it takes a minute to get one to let go. There we go. I think I got one. Oh, I got two. Yep. Let me pull, pull these out. But let me show you how thin they are. There we go. This, just this, is 150 in that little bitty amount. And I think, now if I put these two close together, they'll go whammo and join together so you have to be careful when you set them down otherwise you're going to be pulling them apart again but um let me put these away get that styrofoam in there all right i'm going to finish putting those away off camera and then um we're also like i said we're going to need the brads so we're going to need at least Four, and you have to make sure to remember not to lay these down by the magnets. One, two, three, four. And let me show you again. Here's how thin the magnet is. You can barely see it. It's just one millimeter thick. And it's only 10 millimeters around. Right, those were the thinnest and smallest ones, and um, uh, Mr. F um, <clears throat> uh, put the link to them on Miss Paintalot's. She has a free Saturday and Sunday class. I'm going to give her a plug because they're awesome, and um, I'll put the link on the screen below, and I'll put the link in the uh, in the file. You know, you would think I would keep track of uh, links on links in file. So I knew to write them all. I'm going to put links for. And of course, Wonders by Wink. Which is, oops, I almost wrote why. Which is Kyung's group, and that's where you get this is, her, um, it'll be a link to her Etsy store. And then we're going to have a link to uh, Miss Painalot. And that will be to her YouTube channel. And that's where you can find the uh, lives as well. Um, she used to have two C take fives, which I thought was a great idea. Um, and you take uh, five items, not related, like ribbon and lace and buttons and I don't know, uh, uh, embossed item and a die cut 
item and then you had to make either a card or a tag or, or a notebook or something um, that she made in the class and then you you don't have to but um, part of the point is to uh, post them in the group so if you happen to do a Miss Paint a Lot tutorial uh, project and then um, you know post pictures in hers post pictures in the sweet pea papers group too because we always love to see uh projects and um i don't um discriminate against whose tutorial you follow and you know you can put a link to your uh flip through or whatever on youtube um in the group as well now uh let me mention this before we get started again too there is, um, if you join the Facebook group, then you get this free PDF typed up and tells you step by step what we did. Now, uh, video one and video two were on the prototype um, that turned into this. So there's not gonna be a text file for that because it's just us, <laughs> you and me, going through ideas and trying to get some stuff that'll fit in this folio. Um, but then starting with video three, you'll have a step-by-step -step, um, guide. And of course, you'll have the Sweet Pea Paper links. And then um, there's also one that says buy me a coffee. And that's if you want to donate a dollar or something towards the help Terry buy supplies um, list. Um, so in video three like i said we're going to cover this folder and i was fine with the way the brown looked there are lots of books that are brown where's the one that's a little bit shorter because i thought it would need to be a little bit shorter to be on the inside why is that one wider because I didn't trim it right. Okay, the width on this is five and a quarter. Let's see what I measured it to. I bet I measured it to five and a half. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So now I have a little skinny scrap that I can save. And let's re-ink this side. Let's double check, yeah. I think I must have done uh, seven and a half by seven and a half or something like that. Oop, didn't do a very good inking job on there, did I? So now in this section, we're going to do brads and we're going to do magnets. Both of them have to be done um, in a certain way. We need to uh, put the papers on here and then put the brads on or put the brads on the paper and then put it on here um, and then we're also going to have to put the magnet here and the magnet here and you can see I don't know if you can see it or not but I wrote I wrote the M on there and I thought I had it up far enough but it's still under the tape but it should be since it's right there it should be far enough up that the paper will cover it what I've decided to do to put the magnet in, you need one on both sides on the inside before you put the paper on. And so I'm going to go an inch up, which is, let me move my paper cutter here, which is an inch up. Is that an inch? Yep. I'm gonna do an inch up which is right at the edge of the tape, isn't it? An inch up and two and three quarters inches in, which is the middle. Two and three quarters in. So that's gonna make a mark here. So where these, where these two marks come together, it's going to be where we place our magnet. So we just put another M there. All right, are you guys ready? So we're going to put the brads on after we cover the page, and then we're going to uh, put the magnets on before we cover the page. So let's go ahead and um, 
I, I broke down and bought some um, art glitter uh, clear glue um, the wet glue and it comes with the little pin in in the closure and there's um, a larger nozzle that you can uh, put on here um, but I wanted the thinnest one so we're going to take there we go got it to let go I'm going to take the pin and set it up there we're going to take one of the magnets we're going to put a blop of glue and we're going to drop the magnet on there and we're going to let it do its thing okay we want it to stick on there really well now while we're doing that I did the um, front and the back the same so that when you um, yeah and so this is going to be C1 and this should be C4 which it is um, because I did the cover C1 C2 C3 and then the back is C4 it's easier for me to uh, do that and then to put the magnet on the opposite side all you have to do is stick the magnet to itself or to the other one which it will do very easily now we put a drop of glue on this magnet and then we close the paper and it will go where it's supposed to go now remember we put a, a 3 8 of an inch um, gutter in here and then um, we had leftover on the bottom so we trimmed that while we were on on break between videos I also rounded the corners and I'll tell you um, I wish I hadn't um, I'm not gonna wasn't gonna make a whole new one just to um, uh, make this part again so I, I cut the bottom off even you have to cut off an eighth of an inch because that's how far this moves up to give you your gusset and we want them to be the same um, height so now while those are drying we're going to do the front and the back covers now this is a backing page and normally those are not directional however I and this is actually a horizontal picture but it was uh, neutral enough that I felt like I could go ahead and um, use it now that's a little bitty part of a bird and on the back page is the the rest of this and there are two birds on there so um, the inside ones I cut one different so I went ahead and did with two different pictures because you won't see them both on one the notepad the note papers will be showing up and on the others it won't um, and I forgot to get out the note papers and my cord is not long enough on my mic to get there so all right so we're gonna go ahead and put this cover on you want to put it close enough to the bottom we want to put it in straight but then we want to make it close enough to the bottom that the brads look nice in the corners okay so we're going to go ahead and glue this on and I use the Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix I don't remember which one whichever one it is you get in the US um, to glue the papers on now remember we we're doing it exactly the opposite on the um, magnet pages we want to put the magnets down and then the paper and then we want to put the paper down and then the the oh what you call it the brads down after we put the paper on on this now I marked this as top because even though it isn't supposed to be directional the flowers coming out this way seemed more logical to me um, actually it's the other way around otherwise 
oh no it's this way because that's why the birds are the right way so we're just going to have to tough it out um we are going to actually they might not be little birds they might be leaves i think they're leaves now that i look at it a little bit closer okay so we're going to put that on and see i don't mind that um that brown being there the thing about fabri-tac is you got just a hot second to move it around a little bit and make sure that you've gotten everything straight before you do it now to measure um, this should be wow it didn't glue to the top half so let's stick it back on there now that we know where it goes the magnet is stronger than the glue the pen is mightier than the sword Okay, I'm gonna put the magnet right there and then we're still gonna have to wait for it to dry so let's do um, the brads wow that pen hole is really small okay now I brought in two pieces of styrofoam I have my new glass countertop here and I definitely don't want to go through um, go through this one thinner one that I normally use so I always keep the smaller pieces of um, stuffing and bubble wrap that come in uh, packages. So now this one is C4 and this one is got to be C2 because this is this is four. What did I do with the oh I put it on silly me so we're going to do c4 oh we're waiting for this to dry i probably should have used the e6000 um that stuff will stick to anything so let's just um flip it over and you know what we need to paper c4 we need to paper it the same way yeah so the flowers are going to go this way we're going to use the fabric tack if you wait for the air bubble to go then you'll have the glue come out gravity works the same in all liquids didn't quite get close enough to the edge there some people may not put this little smudge of glue in here and some people put glue all over the page um, my personal belief is that they use a lot of glue um, just for paper but that's just my opinion and I love watching all the people on YouTube and getting ideas um, make sure because this is the side your your gusset is on gusset is on so um it, it will kind of appear a little bit shorter i think that got on a straight line it just doesn't look like it okay and the magnet still does not want to stick to the paper so let me get out my dry baby wipe and see if I can get some of this. Yeah, it's still tacky enough. I think I'm going to be able to get it up with my fingernail though. Get that as flat as I can. And I've never used this glue before. I just got it from AliExpress. And if you look on Amazon, you can get it from Amazon, but it's kind of expensive. It's more than the Fabri-Tac, which is, um, sorry about that scraping noise. I think my arm hit the mic. Um, but I got this big bottle 
Um, it's just a brand name that's from China. Um, but it works supposedly really well on metal. And I got the kind with the, uh, it's got a built-in pin that goes down in the little teeny hole. So don't lose your lid. And I'm going to try a little bit of this on here and see if it works better. Is it on better? It see it's when I close it that this strength is more and it pulls it away from the page when I go to open it. Okay, this works for um, jewels and um, little things like that that are metal. I can't see the hole. Okay, well, at least we know the magnet will be dry by the time I find this little teeny hole. I swear I had it on there. What's well, in the hole? It just, there we go. It just didn't want to go down in the hole. Okay, those are the only two magnets that we have in this kit. Um, well, I may be lying. We may have one more, but we haven't got to that part yet. So we're done with our uh, magnets so we can keep these out. <laughs> I just remembered because we have to, um, yeah. Oh, you know what I did? I glued the magnet on backwards so they were repelling each other instead of closing together. Now I definitely have to leave this open until it dries or it will stick the metal to the metal. Be the metal to the pedal. Now this one is dry. So what we can do is we can do the holes or the brads in this end. Now I want to move all my other stuff out of the way um, because I want to do these even Let's see there it is. This is the official pokey tool. It's made by We Are Memory Keepers. It has a good sized uh, pokey <laughs> on this end. Um, and the farther you push it in, the bigger hole you get. And Brad's use a pretty large hole for their size because, as you can see, I think you can see it. As you can see, I think my camera got moved. Um, the flanges on it are pretty wide. So you need a hole big enough for them to go through, but for it to be snug. You don't want them to spin around. And um, the reason we're doing it before we paper the inside is our paper is going to cover the little folded out legs. So we want to go uh, in and then over. And then we're going to poke it with the pokey tool, but not enough that it goes through to the um to the counter top the tabletop let's see so you're going to poke a hole then you're going to kind of make it a little bit bigger then you're going to take your brad and you're going to put it through the hole and see i made mine a little snug so that it would go through but it wouldn't slide out um, and then you flip it over and you spread out his little legs like he's doing a little jumping jack I just want you guys to know that that was the cleanest reference <laughs> to something in real life that that looked like that jumped into my brain fortunately my belated um, 
brain control that says don't say that out loud. Okay, yeah, that closes now. We're going to want to open it back up to do the hole for the other brad. Now we're going to have to go up and in. I don't know if the hole is in the center of the brad. So you want to kind of line up the center with the center. I'm going to go for it. Do it twice. Hopefully, now for something like this, you could put two at the bottom and two at the top. And I'm still thinking about that. If I do it, I'll do off camera since I just showed you how to do two then I think that is probably enough. Now this side of the pokey tool uh, lays the flanges, the little feet that are sticking through, it lays them out flat. You get it started and then you put the gizmo in and then you rock it from side to side like this to uh, flatten them out evenly. Now personally Let's see if it works on this one. Oh, yeah, it did. All right. So personally, I would um, turn them or just leave them as they are snug against the uh, paper where we're going to put the paper. However, um, I am not going to put another one here unless they should for the way it looks, for the way we're going to do the, um, get that. Okay. It isn't quite even. This one's in a little bit further, but, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna call that done. And should we put two up here? Kind of think so. And then do four on the back looks a little odd with only two on the front and none on the top, right? Especially since this one's in a little bit more. Okay, so to do this one, we're going to hold it open. We don't want to poke through everything. Now the magnet's actually only going to be holding here but we're going to do four here and we're also going to do four back here. I'm not going to do all of them on camera and, and make you nuts. So I want um, about an inch and about an inch. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, tell my daughter that uh, we were going to be poking through on the same side in the same distance in the same way. She got all excited and wanted to watch us do that. But now she's gone already. So once you do two, apparently you lose the watcher's interest. So I hope you're still watching along because we still have quite a bit of things that we're going to do. Where'd it go? Oh, we don't need that glue. I'm so silly. We're just putting the brads through. Get two more brads. So you're going to end up needing eight altogether. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the two through. That's pretty good for eyeballing it. That one's up a little higher. And then see the paper's going to cover all this. So that's why we only cover the front side first because we won't be able to um, 
cover the holes if we um, don't do these first. The camera has moved, so I keep looking over to the side to see if if I um, had the camera on what I was doing, and I'll fix it before the next video. And kind of turn it so that the um, okay. Now you're going to want to paper this side, but you have all these brads in the way, so um, it was easier to poke the holes without the paper. But now I'm realizing that I need to put the paper down and then reinforce where the holes are. So I'll poke the holes again through the back side to get it through. Oh, I did it correctly. I forgot that the paper was glued on this side. Were you guys yelling at me? No, no, it's done. It's done. <laughs> uh, you know what? I never listen to you guys and really truly I should because you guys have the greatest ideas and um, I'm going to put a plug in in the Facebook group uh, every Wednesday we have a craft with Terry remember I'm Terry and we just um, craft and chat sometimes I think we do more chatting than crafting you can use or work on any project you want doesn't have to be journaling if you're um, a painter, you can do a painting. Um, if you do rocks, paint and stack rocks with uh, mandalas, uh, then you're more than welcome to do that as well. So just whatever crafty kind of thing that you do. So now you can see that these, this is making me nuts. Hold on everybody, we're going for a ride. Okay, I think that's better. Let me move this stuff. I think I must have pulled this towards me when I was working. Now the camera is so close that I can't get the whole thing in. There we go. All right. This is what it turned out looking like without any, you know, decoration or anything. Now the back side looks like this. And now we're going to poke the holes, which I should have done before I put the brads in there. I should have just poked it all the way through because the paper is going to cover it. But since we're going to make it removable, if you were just going to glue it to the page, not use this paper, you see what I mean, glue it to the page, then um, I'm going to put you on hold for just a second and go turn my alarm off. Okay, we're back from our pause. The alarm was the fact today's Wednesday and it was the alarm that let me know it was almost 7 o'clock. So we're just going to do this really quick. Let's see, about an inch over and an inch in from the edge. You can see my hair there. <laughs> Let's see if I can hear the... Trying to make sure this lines up with the other one. And it does. And poke that in there. And you can move it around just, just a little bit. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. Oh, that was so good and it made my throat feel so much better. So I'm going to do this one and then we will end the video here and off screen I will put the other three in and then I will paper the insides. There's nothing fancy about the inside. We just want to make sure that um, that the brads are straight on the inside and that they don't go over. See there's two so you have to split them apart. Now see that's probably too close to the paper edge so I'm just going to turn it a little bit. Now I want to make sure that isn't too far that it goes off the side. So you see how I made these. I did them almost in kind of a little L shape. So let's do that to this one if we can. Okay, all I can get is six o'clock. Here we go. Instead of using the pokey tool, I used the fingernail tool. All right, so we're gonna do this off camera and um, then, so you don't have to watch me glue, then I will glue the two pages that are the exact same size as the cover pages. Um, I'm gonna glue them in here and I'm going to make sure they're even and then that will cover up the brad um, marks or the hinges so you don't see them. Okay, so that's it for this video. It's video three and I'll see you in video four and that'll be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.